Hello everyone, welcome to day two of the Phoenix's Rising Challenge. Thank you for joining me for another training session. If you have not had a chance to watch day one video, I highly recommend it. Please go and check it out to find out how come our reality is reflection of our beliefs, our thoughts, our childhood programming. So oh, we have also looked at uh, your recurring life challenges and fears and how to overcome these challenges yesterday. I know it was very, very deep, uh, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. Subconscious is, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so today we are going deeper. We will take a deep dive into your subconscious mind um, and I want you to always remember, you know, awareness is power. Please, please, please play fully. Don't put it off. Don't say, I'm going to do it later. Do it now. This is the most important thing. I also want you to now tune into yourself and check to see how much sort of internal personal power you have at the moment on a scale from zero to 100. Uh, it means sort of like your motivational power your energy, your willpower to change your life, almost like a battery. Imagine yourself as a battery, okay? So how much battery you got left? I want you to check that. This is, I call it your PPP, personal power percentage. So when I say PPP, I want you to tell me your personal power percentage. And also, please remember, I work with the subconscious mind. I don't want you to overthink, analyze every, anything. Just take the first number that comes to your mind. And I want you to write it down in your workbook or, you know, make a mental note and post a comment below. I want to know. I want to know um, if you don't have 100% PPP, where is your power? Where is rest of your energy gone? Okay. I want to know this. Have you given those to, you know, other people? Have you given those to your past, your future, events, what is it? Where is your power? I want you to be at least in control of your night person of your power, okay? That is what I do for my clients. I get them to take their power back. I know we are, I'm not seeing you on a one-on-one -on -one basis now, but I know you can also do this. You know, we can get somewhere, at least you're aware of what's happening with you. I want to look at, uh, you know, some successful people from the history um, and we can see that they trusted the process, they trusted their intuition and they let go of their ego, fear, um, even what people think of them. I know that this is a very common uh, sort of fear that most people have, but trust me, we don't really need to. Okay, uh, just, okay, fine. Um, I want to look at uh, Thomas Edison as an example. So do you know how many times he tried to invent the light bulb? Yeah, guess. 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 200, maybe more. How many times he tried? Put a number down. What, when would you stop? Let's have a look at this. When would you stop trying it? Yeah. So... I want to see the um, numbers. I want to put. I want you to put them down. He actually tried nine hundred ninety-nine times. Even some people say nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine times. I don't know which one, but let's take nine hundred ninety-nine times. But the most importantly, you know, he did not say he failed nine hundred ninety-nine times or give up before he even started saying, "I'm a failure. I don't know how to do it." You know, nobody knew how to invent the working light bulb. But somebody took the lead. That was his mission, his purpose in this lifetime. And he did not let his ego stop him. How did he do it? I want you to think about it. I mean, do you think he had this amazing childhood? Do you think he was a brilliant school at school? You know, uh, sorry, brilliant student at school? No, 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 no. None of them. I think I think he was raised by a single mom, if I remember correctly. And uh, his teacher even said that he was too stupid to learn anything. They sent him home, writing a letter saying, your son is too stupid 
to be at school. We can't teach them. Yeah? Imagine someone saying that, labeling you too stupid to learn anything. He was also fired from his first two jobs for being non-productive. He did not speak until he was four years old and he did not read until he was seven. But none of this stopped him. Thanks to him, we have light in our lives now. You know, I want you to really think about that. Again, how come, you know, he didn't believe his teachers or friends or didn't let anything hold him back? His why was so much bigger than any of that. So I want you to ask, is your why bigger than you? Your why is the important driving force in life. You need to find that why to overcome any challenges in your life. I want you to write down your why, actually. I want to see um, your comments below. Just write it down for me. I want to see your why. It took me years to find my why, actually, or trust my why. Um, Edison, he tried over and over again until he invented a working light bulb. He trusted. He let go. As we mentioned, his why was so much bigger than his human programming, his human experience, human baggage. Do you know what I mean? We talk about this, all this baggage that comes as being part of human. Because if everything was so easy here, we wouldn't be learning things, would we, on Earth? So that's why we go through those experiences to understand the importance of those self-esteem, you know, unconditional love. That sort of things. That's the purpose. We're here to master ourselves. We're here to learn and grow. Okay, so I want you to ask this question to yourself. What is it going to take you to trust and let go and follow your dreams, your calling? Your dreams are given to you for a reason, as you are capable of achieving them. If something within you is saying to you, you're here to do this, you know, you've been drawn to something, it's highly likely that's your mission, okay? So I want you to learn how to listen to this. I know this is only a couple of day challenge, but at least you got a starting point and you always got a chance to work with me later on as well if you want to kind of explore it further. So I'm not leaving you, I'm helping you, I'm here to guide and support you. I will say this over and over again. You know, interestingly, when people ask Edison, what's it like being failed 999 times? Do you know what he said? It's, it's amazing. I love this. Yeah. I have not failed 909 times. I have not failed once. I've succeeded in pro proving that those 999 ways will not work. The light bulb was an invention with 999 steps. I mean, imagine, imagine having that sort of um, thought process. Yeah, no failure. I believe in that. There's no failure in life. We learn. We learn. We try it. If you don't do it, we do it better next time. We try it different next time. There's no failure. Who makes a decision that we are a failure other than ourselves anyway? You know, it depends on us how we label it, how we take it on board. And I want you to really remember Edison's words, yeah? Every time when you turn the light on. The light bulb was an invention with 999 steps. Maybe, maybe, remember that there is no failure, only learning. Maybe achieving your life mission might take 999 steps as well. So, when would you turn on your light to start shining? I mean, we know the world is changing. The world needs your light. So why are you dimming your light when you were born to shine? We are light beings. We are all born to shine. Uh, you might know Mary Williamson. She said, you playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightening about shrinking so others won't feel insecure around you. As you let your own light shine, you indirectly give others permission to do the same. 
Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I love her. She's amazing. Again, think about it. What's holding you back? Is it fear of failure? Fear of unknown? Maybe fear of, you know, you're not good enough? What is it? Write it down. Write it down for me in the comments as well. This is important. Because this is one thing you need to overcome. And I can help you overcome that. I will look at them. Let's look at maybe fear of failure, yeah? Maybe there is no failure. Maybe there is only experiences like we said, you know? You're just experiencing, learning and growing. You don't fail 999 times. Maybe it takes 999 steps. Think about that. Fear of, fear of unknown. Maybe the unknown will be the one thing that you need to know to shine your light. Why are you scared of unknown? What's behind it? Look at behind your fears. It's highly luck that they're coming from your childhood. We're going to have a look at those as well. So maybe you're not good enough. How do you know you're not good enough? How do you know? Have you tried it? I mean, according to, you know, um, Edison's teacher, he wasn't good enough to attend school. Even attend school. So are you going to let other people's opinion of you take you down? Take your light away from you. Who has that sort of power? How are you going to, you know, give your power to these beliefs and others who, you know, doesn't want you to shine? How long are you going to do this? And I know exactly how you feel this way as well. But I want you to start questioning. I know you have unexplained fears and beliefs. I have worked on subconscious, you know, programming years and years. It's fascinating. Uh, and people think they can't change it. Yes, you can change it. I have a news for you. You can change it. I have so many people change their beliefs. They're completely different people now. So let's go back to subconscious and the creation of these negative beliefs. When we experience trauma as a child, most of the time we don't have the resources or understanding to deal with this uh, traumas, these events. So what we do is we deeply bury them to avoid pain. Um, and also we make meaning out of those. We talked about this yesterday. We are meaning making machines. Automatically we take, I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable, you know? Our subconscious mind is like a huge memory bank and makes around 95% of our brain power it stores everything about ourselves, everything, um, like traumas, beliefs, memories, skill set. Um, I think we all know the subconscious is extremely powerful. It regulates our bodily functions and everything. And it's impossible to ignore that it has magnificent power. It's, uh, it, but, 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 it's possible to reprogram it with the right tools, okay? It does, it might take time because we're not doing on this one-on-one -on -one basis, but I will still give you very, very good tools and techniques to you know, start the process at least here in this challenge. Uh, when we are not able to move on and pursue our dreams is because our subconscious mind is holding conflicted uh, beliefs about ourselves, our values, our dreams. So we are going to look at your limiting beliefs about yourself today. Is that good? So I'm going to show you how to pay attention to your most common thoughts and statements that start with I am. I want you to write down your most common top three positive I am statements that you use on a daily basis. For instance, those statements can be I am beautiful, I am smart, I am desirable, I am enough, you know, that sort of things. I'm going to post it below, only three, three statements, not much. Three positive I am statements. I'm gonna give you time to post three positive I am statements. I wanna know. Have you found your three I am statements? I mean, you have about seven to eight, 80,000 thoughts a day. You know, I'm sure, you know, there must be some positive I am statements there. Okay. 
Now, I want you to look at your three negative I am statements. And I want you to write down your most common three I am statements, negative ones this time. You know, stuff they use on a daily basis, like I'm not good enough, I'm not very smart, um, I'm stupid, that sort of things. I want you to notice your own perception about yourself, notice your own programming. Where is that programming coming from? You know, old childhood. Now, go to your workbook, page five, write down your three negative and positive three um, uh, I am statements that you often say to yourself and others, maybe, you know, keeping it small and, you know, I keep playing it small, sorry. <laughs> um, and now, I want you to post all of them uh, in the comment section underneath the video as well. Do not try to hide it. You will be surprised you know, how many people have similar beliefs like, just like yours. And it's important to acknowledge them, to overcome them. Remember, awareness is power. Once you have written your negative I am statements down, I want you to now paraphrase them into positive empowering statements. Write them in your workbook. Instead of saying, I am ugly, you can say, I'm good looking. Instead of saying, I am useless, you can say, I am doing the best I can. I want you to find something that really empowers you. Um, emotions are very important because you can just say so many different things. You know, you can say, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm this. If you don't believe it, if it doesn't have an energetic charge, it's not going to work. Okay, I want you to really feel it in your bones, in your cells. It might be difficult in the beginning, but the more that you say to yourself, you will see because we're doing reprogramming, it will become your reality. Okay, please, please, please do not postpone this uh, exercise. It's life changing and we will use it in our process shortly as well. So once you have your positive I am statements, I want you to use them as your main affirmation on a daily basis. And I want you to say to yourself at least 20 times a day. Even put post-it notes around your house to remind yourself your new empowering I am statements. Even put it on your phone, you know, just say it to yourself. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I am powerful. Yes, I am beautiful. Let, yes, I'm a light being. And yes, I deserve to shine my light. I like that one, isn't it nice? I ever put all of them. I deserve to shine my light. It might be harder, yeah, but it will get easier. So we are reprogramming your subconscious. Think about it, yeah? What are our beliefs? Beliefs are common thoughts that we keep repeating to ourselves over and over again. So let's repeat these affirmations over and over again until we truly believe them. Deal? Expect and expect it. It's going to be bad, magical. I have taken, you know, people out of much darker place than you are now. And one of my mentors, Anton Robin says, where focus goes, energy flows. We are moving into 2021. I want to leave all these limiting beliefs in 2020. Okay? Ego is relentless. It makes us feel alone and unsafe. Its purpose is to keep us safe from danger. By stepping out of your, you know, our comfort zone, we finally embrace who we truly are. But unfortunately, I think there's a little programming error with this ego. <laughs> Okay, um, the power of human thoughts, words, and intentions have the power to empower ourselves and others. Remember that. And yesterday, we experienced this concept, yes, uh, yourself. You know, we have, uh, if, you have, if you haven't had a chance to watch the video one, please check it out. Find out how we create our reality with our thoughts, words, and perception. And uh, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, 
with plenty of empowering I am statements. And I look forward to seeing you 7 p.m. UK time in our Facebook group. Okay, have a wonderful day. Keep shining. Bye.